In this demonstration, the example customer has already configured their security policy and added their authentication nodes. The administrator logs into the Signify Identity Management Center, or IMC, using their two-factor authentication credentials. The administrator then selects the top-level group called Demo Company Paul to add the new user. John Smith is added here. If Active Directory was in use, this information would be pre-populated. At this stage, the administrator can define what credential is going to be required, in this case a soft token. The platform is then selected, in this case an iPhone, and the device information is entered. We are also going to tick the option to record the device ID. This ensures that soft tokens cannot be cloned or copied onto another device. At this stage, the administrator will also decide which services or authentication nodes the user can then access by ticking the option for the auth node and then defining the username that's going to be required for that individual user. Once the administrator is happy, they will submit the request. This is the first stage for adding a soft token. The administrator is then required to fulfill the user's token request. This can happen immediately or it can be delayed. For example, if you wish the welcome email to go out in line with the stage rollout to ensure clear user communication. The screen you see now confirms that the user has been provisioned. Now let's review some of the screen captures that a user would see. Firstly, the RSA application the soft token, which can be downloaded from various stores. Next we see the welcome email, complete with instructions as to how to install and correctly operate the soft token. The following is a selection of screenshots for that process. The device ID is recorded and sent to Signify. A PIN is set. The user receives a further email with an attachment that needs to be installed into the token. They click on the link, enter their PIN to decrypt the attachment, and the token is then active. Once active, the user is required to test the one-time codes produced by the soft token. They complete this process and the soft token becomes active. The next step in the registration process is the setting of questions and answers. This is followed by the acceptable terms of use page, which must be accepted in order to use the service at which point the user registration is complete. To demonstrate the soft token in operation, we are now going to log in as this user with their email address and use the one-time code produced by the soft token to log in. I hope this demonstrates just how quick and easy Signify is to use, both as an end user and an administrator. For more information, please visit the Signify website or contact 
our sales team.